this week at the St. Lawrence River, you know, I used uh, really a lot of different techniques. I had multiple patterns and I was fishing really three different depth zones. So I was kind of fishing some shallow spots uh, where, the, where the smallmouth were up around some shallow rocks and sand with some scattered grass, some mid-range stuff where it's, you know, 10 to 15 foot, and then some deeper stuff, 25 to 35 foot. And I used, you know, different baits. So on the deep stuff, the drop shot was the only way to go. Uh, I was throwing a, a Strike King uh, Dream Shot, Chartreuse Glimmer Shad, and it just seems like out there, if they just see it, they're gonna bite it. So I was using a half ounce weight, casting it out there, just letting it hit the bottom, working it a couple times, reeling in and doing it again. I just trying to cover a lot of water with it. Um, in that mid zone, that same drop shot was a really, really good bait. Once I kind of got dialed into areas, I would throw a wacky rigged Ocho. Um, this, this one right here is one of my favorites for smallmouth. It's a honey candy. It's kind of, it kind of has a glow to it in the sunshine. It's got a lot of sparkle to it. And I just used it unweighted um, and, and just let it sink real slow. Where, but right where I knew those fish were sitting on some of these shoals and things like that, on some of these little rocky spots. And I, even out in 15 foot of water, I've just cast it up there, let the current bring it down. They'd see it coming down and your line would just take off. I caught some of my biggest fish this week um, on that Ocho. I also kind of mix it up with a Strike King um, 300 series KVD jerkbait. I love that IU color. That and the Sexy Ghost Minnow are the two main, uh, those are the two main baits. I got a little, the 200 series there. You can uh, see that's a real good one in shallow water. And I just, you know, would um, kind of cover water in between with that jerkbait. And I caught a couple of big ones doing that. And then the other thing that I used was a spy bait. I kind of got onto that late yesterday when the sun came out and it got slick, calm. Um, I was fishing a spot that I knew they were on. I could see them and I couldn't get them to bite. And it was just something different. So I caught a couple of good ones on that and uh, was able to use it again today. There's something about that bait that they, uh, these fish that have been pressured so much by my drop shots and things like that, would, uh, they would hit that. So it's just show, showing them something different every day. Same thing with that swim bait, you know, that Rage Swimmer, uh, you know, I'd kind of mix that in there too. And you just never know what they're gonna bite. When you got a spot where you know they're at, you just keep throwing different things until you get a reaction to it. And every day is a little bit different. You know, some days they just choke the swim bait and, and uh, other days, you know, they don't, they'll just bump it. So today I had two or three of them just bump it. And, uh, you know, I switched over to that spy bait and, and they were able to, I was able to catch them.